Larry spends another day as a major hurricane in the Central Atlantic and remains at Category 3 status at 22.1 degrees north, 53.5 west, moving northwest at this time as it starts to recurve. Right now it's got winds of around 120 miles per hour and a pressure of 957 millibars. Recon finding uh, similar numbers right now, moving northwest as mentioned at 10 miles per hour. The storm still poses a threat to Bermuda over the next few days. Uh, currently, uh, there it is right now depicted on the map and its wind field which is starting to grow, uh, particularly on the eastern side, the west catching up a little bit. Uh, but it will pose a potential threat to Bermuda and then for the coast of Atlantic Canada. Currently 629 miles from Antigua, but it will miss there. 851 from San Juan, 980 from Bermuda, 1657 from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and 1758 from St. John's, Newfoundland. The storm is expected to curve past Bermuda. Looks like it will still be a pretty close pass, but hopefully the main part of the storm will remain well offshore. We are looking at the potential for tropical storm force winds there. And for Canada later on, Newfoundland in particular, we could be looking at potential hurricane force winds by a transitioning um, cyclone to extra tropical. Right now, very good agreement on where we're at with this storm's intensity. 120 miles per hour, though recon might say a little bit less is the early indications we're getting from flights in the storm right now. Uh, but nonetheless, a Category 3 appears to be cemented. And there is the forecast for the next five days. Uh, the storm veering off beyond Bermuda after Thursday and then on towards uh, Newfoundland on Friday night into Saturday morning uh, where it will still be at hurricane force according to the National Hurricane Center's forecast track there uh, and then shooting off polewards as far as it can go really towards the coast of Greenland um, where it will obviously be long post tropical by then. Well, here's another depiction, then the GFS model showing the storm uh, to weaken a little bit, but still maintain a lot of its intensity, possibly Category 2 as it rounds there towards Newfoundland. Uh, as it makes its closest pass to Bermuda, it may be on a little weakening um, dip there, but it will still be a significant hurricane. And it's got a large wind field as well, let's not forget, and it will continue to increase a little bit. Rainfall, interestingly, appears to be shoved onto the western side as it approaches Bermuda, according to this forecast model. Um, so <clears throat> we can't rule out completely the possibility of maybe 8 to 10 inches of rain if the storm passes very close. Newfoundland, lower amounts, maybe around 4 inches, of course, as it's losing the uh, warm core momentum. Sea surface temperatures though will be aiding this storm for some time yet with 28 degree waters extending to Bermuda then dropping to around 26 and then as it reaches the coast of Canada it will be dropping off a cliff as it leaves the uh, Gulf Stream dropping to around 10 degrees as it leaves Newfoundland later on. Here's what the models are saying as a spread there, the uh, forecast intensity is looking to be around peak right now or just uh, below. Wind shear will remain low to moderate, uh, a low ebb there on uh, in, in about two or three days. Sea surface temperatures will be rising and then falling of course and relative humidity is a little bit of a low part right now but it will start to increase again. So all in all conditions remaining pretty samely for the next few days. Well here it is on the latest satellite imagery it's looking very um, picturesque it has to be said and it has done for quite a while. It's one of these um, long hauling hurricanes that stay out to sea hopefully completely um, but it's got a very defined eye uh, and a significant amount of um, cloud tops in the western and southern parts of the eye wall although lacking a little bit on the northern side which is keeping its intensity uh, just that little bit lower surrounded by quite a bit of dry air it has to be said and that is probably what's going to be limiting the storm more than anything right now uh, but it will probably hold its intensity for a little while yet.